Okay, welcome to part two of us selling our house and doing the final stage of us getting out of suburbia and starting to build on our homestead. In part one, you saw really just us kind of closing things out with our community. Tying up loose ends. Yeah. And then here in part two, you're going to see a lot of what a family of six goes through to sell a, to pack up a 2,000 square foot home and end up being homeless. Imagine that feeling of getting six people out the door and into a car just to go to the grocery store. Then imagine doing that and packing up an entire house along with it, keeping all the people off the street, making sure that nobody has unpacked a box. It's fun, if that's your kind of idea for fun. This is a vlog that y'all never saw. Mainly because they were terrible. But I guess they're still sealed. I'm not eating them. This is, oh, it's so sticky. This is a me that I was given at Jack Spierko's survival podcast. It's okay. It will, um, it's, it's pretty strong. <laughs> this is so weird. Um, I'm throwing away all of this stuff that I'm like, oh, I don't need this, we don't need this. And then I stop at this. Because I know that molasses is a good soil amendment. <laughs> and I don't want to throw it away because it's like this whole giant jar of it. So maybe I can sneak it into the box and Kelly won't notice. Hey Kelly, we really need to move with this to Dallas for four months. For an 89 cent jar of molasses. This. Oh my goodness. This is a whole bag of Moringa seeds. Oh my goodness. I hope these are still good. We got these last year from Genie Cotton at the Cotton Tail Rabbit Trees. Whoa. This is awesome. Moringa is like a super, super food. Here, let me show you what. So this is our Moringa tree. Well, it's not ours anymore, it's the new owners. I hope that they don't cut it down because this thing is awesome. This is legit super food here, guys. I don't know why permaculture doesn't talk about it that much. Maybe because it's mainly subtropic or tropical kind of tree, but we grow it here in Houston. And I'm gonna try to grow it up uh, two hours north from here. This plant is the jam. And rabbits love, love, love Moringa. A few moments later. The fam is now awake. And we were having one of our favorite breakfasts because we need to use the rest of the eggs. <laughs> Kelly is making a good thing, Mom, French you toast. Use the eggs. Yeah. Finley, do you Maybe like French toast? Like yes, you do. So something I just said was that I wish that we were further ahead so that we could just kind of chill Hello. and do nothing. Kelly reminded me, she said, well, Hello. the good thing is that if we were further ahead, we wouldn't have breakfast for our last day here in our house. So that's really cool. Two hours later. Okay, it's 11 a.m. We were running out of time. We still have a lot to do to be able to get this out. Got to get the dryer to the storage unit and um, everything out of here and be able to clean. Plus we do have four kids that are taking our time. One. Room down, completely empty. So this room, this is the room that I first started my business here as a video producer. I remember I would lock the door here. He couldn't open the door because I locked it because I needed to work. And his little hands would be coming through the door from the other side. So this has been our office for eight years. This is weird. I get sentimental selling this house. I like this house. I really love this house. If I could take this house and all the community and put it on my property, I would love it. I think 
I think all my sentimental moments were in that first run, that first get the house moving, get it on the market in November. Like that, or October. It was October, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. That was where all my sentimental moments went. Yes. And you were so small then. I think that you didn't love this house until you were going to leave it. If we would have sold the house the first time around, I don't think I would have had time or presence to care. Mm -hmm. That yeah, extra I six months, that. I think we're perfect. God gave it to us so that we would slow down. I had a conscious thing to say, I'm going to enjoy this time here yeah. and I'm going to embrace it. I think that that did great things for us to, for me to be able to appreciate where we were and like you've always said, that yeah. we weren't going to do this until we are going to be going to the next stage, not running away from something. Yeah. I think you would have been running from our house and our area. I think the slowdown time was sweet. So. Do you remember those episodes back whenever all this entire wall was? And then also there will be a downsizing day where we take care of all of this. Stupid pizza boxes. It's empty. It's 510. I am now on to wearing uh, one of Kelly's shirts because we have been sweating so much. Everything is pretty much out of the house that's going to go to the storage unit now we just have to load everything into the car which is still a lot and then clean the entire house hopefully we can do this in two hours hopefully we can do it in one hour <laughs> 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 It's 7.40, we're still doing this, and we had to get Chick-fil-A in order to feed the children. But spirits are better now, and mainly because she showed up. <laughs> Carrie is Kelly's best friend, and it's of Carrie and Rachel. Rachel, you're in it too. So, we're getting it done, and I gotta go pack everything. How do you eat an elephant one bite at a time, this is the elephant that will not die. But what's the elephant? Our house. There's so much. Meanwhile. Relentless. I'm going to wrestle. Should I wrestle now? I can't wrestle with this. Sorry, Carrie, I had to turn off your music. I have to take off my shoes for this. Oh, he'll come. No, 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 just let him come. He'll know. Being able to wrestle in that house was something that was huge. When, when, once Everett got to a certain age where he was a boy and needed this energy out, I Six listened. Months. Yeah, I, I listened to Francis Chan and he had all girls and then he had a boy and he just realized that the biggest development for his boy, he just needed to wail and just beat up his dad. That's just part of that urge to being a boy. And like once- the love language of yeah. his kid. He didn't say love language, but he said like, the way my kid shows me love. Well, the way that his girls just need to be close to him and just hug and cuddle, that his boys just needed to beat him up. And and I always <laughs> fought, and I fought that for a long time. And we, we, we had bad stuff of being a new parent with a boy. But the moment that I embraced, my boy needs to beat me up. Oh my goodness. It just, it just changed a lot. It, it was awesome. And then we had Ollie and then bam. Once all the furniture went out, it was like, how do we not wrestle? The boys knew it was time.
9.30. Good. It smells like the same paint that we did, that we painted for Everett. Oh. Everything looks good. You're gonna cry. Good night, house. Mm. Good night, mouse. Thank you, God. Holy God. Good night, home, and good night, brush. Good night, nobody. Good night, brush. For this space and for the family that you've made here, for the way that you've drawn in friends to become family, and for the blessings you've poured over us, you've shown us your faithfulness, your kindness, and your delight in us. You have shown us. Thank you for this home. I'm sorry that I didn't, that I wasn't grateful for it until the last six months, but God, I'm grateful Go. that I am not running away from this home. Thank you for softening my heart. We trust in you, God. Then I stayed up and drank until two in the morning with my best friend. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel like I'm grateful that I... It's kind of the same as uh, Finley. I was like, thinking the exact same thing. I, it's taken a long time to get to this point. Mm, I know. Is where y'all can show, y'all can see it. But I'm just grateful for having the camera. Even if YouTube never becomes anything, I mean, it's already yeah. great. We love all you guys, all almost 20,000 of y'all, of, of being here and watching this adventure with us. But even if it, even if you were even not here. there were here, zero subscribers. I'm grateful that we document this 
for us to see, for our mm -hmm. kids to see, for our grandkids to see in virtual 3D, who knows. It makes me feel like that gratitude for Finley. Mm -hmm. My favorite vlog is milk and cookies. Oh. <gasps> Did you find it? Oh, yeah! Out of all the vlogs, of all the reasons, and it was the first time you picked up the camera mm -hmm to memorialize what's happening with our family as it happens. That's pretty awesome because I'm not very good at writing things down, but this is your way of doing that. So that was the last night in our house. And then the next morning we woke up yeah. and we went to go sign our closing paperwork. That was nuts. That was the most grown-up thing we ever did. It's done. It is done. What do you want to do today? <laughs> I want to go get a pedicure. <laughs> Unwind and not, not carry the last two oh. months anymore. So closing went smooth? How do you smooth? feel? Uh, great. You know, still not believing it until, you know, the funds show up. Mm -hmm. We've sold our house. And you, you oh, we sold our house and we're homeless. Come on, kids. Oh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> now, what?